Hey guys, so just a quick uh, look at my Canago uh, C60. Um, this is a bit different from the Dogma F12 I have. Um, this is actually my first bike I had. Um, well, the first bike I had was Specialized Diverge Cyclocross bike, and then I switched to uh, this. Uh, it's a Canago C60 in green, Kermit green. Um, size is 48S, the sloping version. Um, well, just a quick starting from the front. Um, it's not made lightweight or anything. Um, if otherwise, if, were, if I was going for lightweight, I'll probably end up using the extra light stem, which is, I think it's like 80 grams. Anyway, so I have the the super legera stem the 90 uh, 90 millimeters with the handlebar um, wahoo element mount and sorry wahoo element and just a ebay mount for the wahoo um, i fitted it with shimano yes i know i should have done uh, campanolo but didn't quite work out the way I wanted to um, and I had this set as a spare so anyway it's got the R8000 Shimano Otegra uh, group set um, shifters the brakes um, this is the R9100 uh, crank set Dura Ace uh, 5034 um, Autogra front derailleur, if you can see that, followed by 1132 and the me uh, medium cage uh, derailleur in the back as well. I've put on this was the first set of tyres wheels I got, a uh, Campanolo. Um, Bora 135s with clinches. They're running, let's have a look. Uh, GP 4000, uh, 25 mils, and they're fine. Um, if you can see, there you go. 28 doesn't work with this um, C60. Uh, for the saddle, I'm using the Burke uh, padded Lupina. It's actually one of the most comfortable saddles that um, that's good for me. Um, yep, not sponsored by them. Didn't get it for free. Had to buy it full price. Uh, same as the other video. Uh, I actually got two. One for my C60. And one... Oops, sorry for the shaky video for my F12, which actually I haven't installed yet. I'm trying to use this gimbal to make uh, the video a bit less shaky, but it's not really working that well. Um, Vlog pocket, apparently. Anyway, yeah, so um, weight wise. I think it comes to over 8 kgs. I'll try and do a video on me weighing it. I don't have any proper weighing scales, you know, like um, uh, bicycle scales. I just have a luggage scale. So I'll try and put it on and show it to you. Um, I think it comes to like 8.2. But yeah, it's amazingly um, smooth ride uh accurate um not too sporty well i guess it's because i haven't been bothered to cut this a bit shorter i've got i think 330 mils on there or 25 mil can't remember i could lower it down and that'll give me a more aero position but um i take this abroad so I've gone riding in Japan, did 180 kilometers in one day on that. That was the most timing thing I've ever done. Um, 
been to Barcelona with it. Yeah, so it was good. Um, done about 100 kilometers, Barcelona. Um, Taiwan as well, uh, did 80 kilometers there. So it's a great bike, uh, mechanical of course, not DI2. My F12 up here is uh, DI2. Um, as you can see, I don't have a crank set there. It's because I move it from the C60 back to the F12 or F12 down to the C60, depending. I should really just go and buy another one, but yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Not much information on it, I know. Just a basic look on the bike. Um, oh, I guess you want to see the... Let's have a look if I can get this working. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, I guess I should talk about the pedals as well, eh? Uh, pedals are, let's have a look, let's see if I can get it, pedals are Fabio Asioma, um, yeah, they're good, they are very, very good, actually, um, very consistent, never had a drop in the signal while I'm riding, um, yeah, I'll try and do a review on that as well. So, um, go try this way in for my canal go. Not bad. 7.4, 3.0. Let's zero that again. Okay.